What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So, to run off happened last time, we successfully captured up Louisiana from an American army, and unfortunately there is an army still floating around, so further fields are bound, further fights are bound, sorry, and I'm pretty sure that this area was my this was my first pitched battle against US forces. So that should be interesting. To see more of those continue. And they've also just driven up the East Coast because the Americans have left it unguarded. So I felt no compunction, no, no problem with just storming straight up and taking the territory as my own. If they're going to leave it unguarded for me, then I, I will more than happily uh, exploit it. There go, let's do some troop rotation. That didn't work, did it? Oh, I should keep them in Georgia. Florida seems pretty happy. Well, no. I want a garrison in Florida in case someone tries to capture it, because lots of people usually ask for it. So this army is temporarily weaker of two line units, and the Americans are pushing down the coast. Um, elsewhere in Portugal, this army, I believe I want to, re I want to bring back to the uh, US. So you will go up to this port... What navy's here? That's a trade fleet that I'm recruiting up there. That's a main fleet I'm recruiting up there as well. So what I might do is temporarily move these guys out. Move a fourth rate into the dock. So this is a bit of an abuse of the Empire Title War mechanics. To just load them all up onto one ship. Get them over to the Americas. And get them back in port, and I'm going to have to uh, recruit a fourth rate ship of the line to make up for that. But right now, ooh, galleons. I have to recruit some, so if I cancel you, I can build a galleon. Which, as I'm Portuguese, I think that makes sense and it fits the theme. So I'm going to get an expat infantry to start being a garrison of Lisbon. How's my tech doing? New model bayonets, good. Chain shot, Salamanca, but I suppose there's nothing really else I can do. I can do because they're only a college. The Monterey is doing copper bottoms, which increases uh, increases recruitment cost, but it makes me faster and move further. So a bit of a loose end here, but basically I want to keep. Let's infiltrate Paris. Then let's keep keep this guy here as a bit of an early warning. Then if I recruit any more, um, they will also go here and just live. Act, act as uh, forward early warning. Cool. Let's hit enter. Because I'm, I'm really quite concerned about Russia. Austria, sorry. Um... See, they're not going to attack me yet, which gives me time to replenish and knock their armies out, one by one. The army that's going to be sailing over from the Americas is going to end up probably um, sailing on to... I don't know, where do I want to sail on to? Do I want to attack from the north? Do I land in Virginia? So do I send this army down to support my armies pushing up, up from the south? Or do I use them to open up a second front in the north? Maybe to land somewhere bold like Pennsylvania. Yeah, the Austrians have definitely got this. Uh, definitely got France locked down, and I am really quite concerned. So they are not at war with the Prussians, but I would very much like them to be. I mean, granted, all that would do is create a super, a super block. Um. You know, once when eventually one of them wins. But I think I can count my lucky charms in a minute is that I'm Catholic. That'll help me uh, maintain some positive bonuses with the Austrians, which the Prussians may not otherwise have. Once I've got the might of America behind me, that might be a different matter. But until then, I can't afford to be... Take too many risks. Growth in this region 
has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. Oh, good. So let's build craft workshops. Yeah, that's El Paso. Nation destroyed Morocco. Morocco's been destroyed. Who's taking you? Genoa. Fair enough. It's Genoa similarly again in this campaign is doing some exploring. Hanover's been destroyed by the Prussians. Let's get them in position. Let's get my line infantry in Georgia. Let's get my militia into Florida. Another blob of line infantry. So let's get you up here. To be honest, that's going to be the start of a new army. Not so big. And let's get some... Oh, I don't want, don't want any Hassares. Colonial light. Because we are colonials now. There we go. In two turns, this will be a solid, nice little army that will help push up the coast. Uh, come on. Don't lag. There you go, you're still replenishing. I don't know where this guy's going. I'm reluctant to move out because I don't want to lose up Louisiana. Let's make it a military governor's barracks. Yeah, build a building in Baton Rouge. Okay, let's do some infrastructure building. You're being upgraded, you're being upgraded. Replenish my navy. How's that going as well? Another proper navy being recruited. So let's make San Gabriel my flagship for this fleet. Oh yes, and we also need to knock out the... Well, just hoover up the rest of the pirate regions. Which I could probably do with an army raised from Caracas. Calabera de Presidencial. Get some Hassares. Get some cheap infantry. Get some cheap artillery. One unit of howitzers. Get some Fusileros. Fusileros, Fusileros, and a unit of line. Good, and they'll start recruiting down there. To be honest, I won't need very much to knock out those two islands. But I want to check right now that everything is as max upgrade as it can be. Because I've got cash to burn. I've got cash to burn, but it also doesn't mean, you know, upgrading this so that they can instantly raid it. So ideally, like, once the, let's do some battles down here to clear up these two stacks. Send one up to Virginia. One westward to take out, take out this pirate territory, and also to take out the Cherokee nations. What's my trade looking? The trade to Britain is being disrupted, but that's fair enough. God, those spices are making me a hell of a lot of money. Um, ooh, this army of Virginia. See, it's fairly basic armies, because I don't know how far they are along the tech tree. some fourths and then well, to be honest down here actually what I might do is steal a couple of these third rates put them into this fleet to expand them, to beef them up a bit so I'm recruiting a lot of stuff down here Spain's good, don't need to upgrade happiness buildings just yet, because they are just fine. Oh, the infrastructure is top notch. Ooh, I have another another army starting to be built down here. Well, I may as well expand it. 
Get some musical arrows and get some line. Good. Now how's the city do? They're still fractionally growing. Um, I don't want to. I think the choice. I don't want to reduce taxes for the uh, area. Mm, hit and turn. Let's see what the US does. Yep, yeah, bring them back over the river. Good, because I did not want to chase you out there. Yes, I am going to intercept you. Please attack me with your light cavalry army. <laughs> I am um, reply. I am depleted. I have suffered some attrition, but that's a pretty weak army. So I may as well make them force them to attack me. So they're pretty much just going to charge. Like I say, granted I am weak, but I've got lots of firepower, and I can form square. These guys back because I didn't really have anything to do. Keep my cavalry back because they're pretty weak. And then let's just deploy my artillery to fire round shot. Keep my general back. My reinforcements? Ha! Huh, holy moly. Aim for a block of cavalry. Should make them march up and support this flank, I suppose. God, there's a lot of cavalry. guys form square already. Let's get my pretty weak cavalry out on the flank. Let's rotate my line to help provide firepower. Let's limber them up. You guys fire canister shot. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna run around and be silly. Well, the irregulars, long rifle on them. Form 
Golden Square. Units trying to route. Let's get my weak cavalry wherever it is. Let's move my howitzers aim at something else. Aim at this unit, of squ unit in square. General, good. If we could kill him, that would be excellent. Ah, they now have fire rank. Good to know. Hit them with canister shot. This is the infantry, the skins have failed to load in. Form tiny little squares. It is, so I'll definitely back their ability. Just bring them back to this main fight so I can drag their cavalry into battle with my squares. Cavalry infantry chase down this unit of long riflemen. Hopefully they wait. Hopefully that's let's continue this fight. Halt all artillery fire. Then it's speed up time. Let's come in with general. These guys to chase down the long riflemen. Because it's still a raiding army, I may as well... Or, you know, it could raid. May as well chase them down. The smart move might be to chase them, you know, run to the furthest target first. But, you know. This way at least I can guarantee, like, I'm def I'm going to guarantee I'm definitely going to kill this unit of long riflemen. These guys are probably going to escape because they've done the, the superior scatter technique, but they seem to be not able to make up their mind about what direction they actually run in. Okay, so I presume that counts that they're all dead. Happened. But yes, another skirmish with the United States. Oh, lovely, look at that. 300 men lost for a thousand of theirs. Get them running back across the river. Whoop. They are laying siege to me, so I will be sallying out. I don't know how many turns I have in the uh, to withstand them in that settlement, because it's not particularly big. Crack 
Crimea Incarnate, naval superpower of the mid of the, uh, the Mediterranean. Is Austria just going to keep pushing down? Oh, if they if they'd betray like Venice and declared on them, that would be hilarious. See, they might be concerned about Prussia because they're not moving down towards me, but they are bolstering their forces around Paris, which you know I can't threaten Paris. Prussia can. Trouble is though, the curveball might be Genoa declaring on me because Genoa are allies with Austria. To be honest, if it gets too hot, as long as I can get a naval hospital built in the Americas, I could give it away. I could trade away Spain and Madrid if it gets too difficult to defend. Land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help. Because I have no reason to keep it. Well, so I see no reason to keep it. I mean, I have. Um, well, if I've got so what's down here? What have I built in Santo Domingo? Yeah, naval hospitals. So I now have a port in my region that's capable of building. Uh, first rate ships of the line. I'm building loads of Admiral's flagships there. I have ships that are capable of. I have a port capable of building first rate ships of the line. So, in theory, I don't need Spain and Madrid anymore. More trade ships. Split off some sixth rate, some second rates. And then let's make uh, Santo Cristo de Macarabello. Is it my admiral? Just so these guys don't get any ideas. I could I could wipe them out, but they're doing no harm there. Age detected. Yep, naval hospital just been built there. Of course, that does make Hispaniola, um, Santo Domingo, a much more strategic region for me. Fleet arrives. Can you both stack up there? Not entirely. So let's split you into that fleet. Let's put them into this fleet. The next turn I'll send something to come over and knock out the Russians. Then the main fleet. Oh no, the knackered fleet. <laughs> Let's get you into the port of... Let's get you into Port, port de Pay. City besieged Charleston by a pretty lacklustre set of troops. Georgia. Good, good, good. Let's get my investment going. Let's get more production of resources going. And then let's upgrade my port to make sure I can export it all. Great, the farmlands. Plenish this force. There you go, regroup of this infantry unit. Then when this is full strength, I'll send them out to attack Nathaniel Green. Let this army's recruitment continue. Yeah, I'm getting guns from Louisiana. These are my transport fleets. So I don't need happiness building in Florida yet. To be honest, I don't need one at all. Oh no, I think I do want to get rakes. Rakes to kill priests. Let's try and assassinate their general. Ah, sad face. They got him. So I'm building howitzers in St. Augustine. Yep. Okay, so that trade fleet is growing. I'd like to expand my main fleet. So I've got so I've got a monopoly on um, the trade of spices. 
and ooh, that's still there. No, tea is the most valuable one now, but I don't have access to any tea, so I'll probably go collect some, go to one of the ivory trade theatres to mix it up a bit. Good, so got another army there, which I'll send up to fight any Americas. This army down here is starting to be recruited. Good, get the union of line. Let's hit end turn. Oh, I forgot to sally out of Charleston. Ooh. Yeah, so they're just going to keep on keep on raiding. So it'll probably be handy if I can get that fleet up from Mexico. So I don't, you know, send my army one way and their other army flanks around and captures the territory. Because that's super annoying and I hate it so much. Austria's heading eastward. Transporting troops across the Adriatic. Hopefully, well, the troops they might be set at getting ready to invade. Yeah, they are, because they they are at war with Württemberg. And once Württemberg's gone, they have no enemies. Like I said, if they declare on me, I'm happy to burn everything in Mexico down. And then abandon it. Not Mexico. Burn everything in Spain down and abandon it and then trade it to them. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So let's so run him up to here. To construct here. I'm not going to upgrade it because they'll just raid it and take it all from me. Upgrade resources. Upgrade the roads, I may as well, because now they're already sieging me. Gladio. Oh, I, I didn't see what we got. Copper bottoms. Oh, and they've assassinated my. Oh, they, they, they've raided my stuff and assassinated my agent. You swine. It's auto resolve against Justin Hamden. Let's position yourself here, ready to move up there. Um, Carolina, it's yet. Yeah. Charleston's got walls now. And they have a handful of rubbish artillery. My navy's being built, which I'll send up to raid or to blockade Yorktown. Lots of generals bodyguard, but no generals. Okay, cool. Upgrade Baton Rouge. And El Paso. May as well just get one more unit of colonial. Colonial infantry, my navy's repaired. To be honest, let's send these guys to start start raiding so send them up there to attack Yorktown to really stop them from being able to move those armies out something else I could do with knocking them out eventually I might do that quickly now so while they got heavy frigger and the fourth and a fourth rate Just a quick order resolve. May as well. You get them replenished and then upgrade this dockyard to a. How far am I away from Steam Droid? Oh, holy hell, I'm a ways away. Don't worry about it for now. I can recruit steamships later on if I want, but I never really do. Okay. So, Salamanca. You're a classical university. You keep cracking on with punch card looms, industrial tech, Monterey. You go on to uh, reform naval administration. Good. So this is my trade fleet being built. Ok, 
get two heavy first rates and then three first no well, two first rates and then get a get another third in turn yes I killed the vicar <laughs> oh, I forgot to set me out Charles down again I hope that doesn't mean I lose it Oh, it did mean I lose it. Nadgers. That's frustrating. That's what happens when you get too punchy with the end turn counter. Oh, say la vie. God, that's really annoying. <laughs> and also me... Well, I'll just go capture it back. They want Krakow and they'll give me steam. Cadence marching, diamond formation, reform, naval administration, steam, no. I don't like how they're all heading my way. At least I've got another army being built to uh, to bring the fight onto them. God, that's an entire army I've lost, which I need to recruit again. Still, at least I've got a solid amount of money per turn coming in. So it's not too devastating. It's stupid, but... Oh well, we live and learn. Just goes to show, if something's important in a campaign, do it first before you end the turn. One of your sea trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. Without your intervention, there's Okay, so nation destroyed Württemberg, region lost Carolinas. Ooh, it's annoying. Asentamiento sitiado. Let's get as much up there to support them as we can. No, 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 don't fight. Good, solid fleet. And they've moved to the south. See, they could have... Well, I don't know if they could have attacked it. They might have provoked a response. So I want to go here. Then fight them. So at least I'll drive them where... Oh, wow, I didn't realize they were that knackered. I'm just going to water that. Okay, now you swing north. Let's get my rake down here to attack this vicar. Bam! Got him. Lozian has cobbled roads. Okay, so then let's get evacuate them. Let's get my transport navy over to Mexico. Trouble is no, no. What's how's that impacted their range? Not at all. Get them embarked. Hmm. Let's drop them off into this port for now. Just to head off reinforcements. Sí, señor. Because I've got lots of fleets now, I'm gonna send them to to raid this this uh to raid this port. Move them here. Like I said, just as a bit of a bit of a blocking force against these armies that are moving up. That's me, trade gained, assassination success. This navy's recruiting. Almost 
the Marathas are pushing up. Maratha Confederacy I'm at war with the US, Prussia, Plains, Nations, and Afghanistan. Shame they're not at war with Persia. I'm trading with them. I'm indifferent with the Ottomans. Let's trade. I will give you 14 grand. Peace and trade. I'll do the rest of it. Nope. Let's try trade with the Barbary states. Nope, don't like it. Crimean carne. Let's trade. Genoa. Insult. Savoy. How about you? So I'm very friendly. We'll give you seed planting drill. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is present state gift. You will have jewelry. You're currently at war with more people than I am. So the rest of my money I will buy to be honest they don't need that much they don't need that that much of an army would be enough to swipe out those pirates then in Mexico let's get some Lanceros one Lanceros one Curacier let's get some horse artillery to keep her to be light and then let's get 12 pounders and then a few Zaleros and start recruiting another army to get involved in this war cool um, we're looking at the timer um, I think that's the end of this part so thanks for watching guys Sorry about this stupid capture of Charleston, but we'll take it back next turn. It should be quite a fun battle, because lots of troops. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.